So what the plan is, is to build a clickable slideshow using the components provided uh, in the components window. So I'm going to open that up first, window components. So there's a little prep work you have to do. Here's the components. It's a little prep work you have to do, which is prepare your uh, images. Now, you don't have to resize them, but I would because the bigger a file is, the more likely it should be resized. So resize it to the largest you're going to have, you're going to use, okay? And then name each one of the photos you want in your slideshow, photo, P-H-O-T-O, -O, underscore, number one, dot JPEG, and then do them, sec you know, in the, in the uh, order you want them to go. So then name the next one, photo underscore two, photo underscore three, et cetera, et cetera. So the two components we're going to use, I'll drag those out first. We're going to use the image component and we are going to use the label component. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put the image over here and I'm going to give this a instance name. The instance name is absolutely essential because without it, you can't, you don't have an ID name to uh, refer to. So I'm going to call this big image. So we know it's the big image and that just hit away for me. Big image and yeah, that's fun. Big image and we're going to make it bigger. So I'm going to stretch it out about the same and then I'm going to make it. That's about right. I'm going to move the label down a little bit, maybe make it a little taller. And there we go. So that looks about looks about right. Personal preferences. Okay, label, same deal. Line it up and stretch it out. Cuz you're going to be putting captions in here. Now I'm going to keep my captions super simple so that I don't have to worry about uh writing them up for you. So we'll keep those simple. So first thing I'm going to do is connect an image to this image and we're going to go down here where it says source, click. I got some images on my desktop already made up and um, when you look in my image folder you'll see their image one, two, three, right? Plus I also created a back and forward ping that are just for directional. So I'm going to connect to this, open, and nothing happens because you can't see it until you do a command return or a preview. There we go. Lovely. It's a little too stretched, so I'll have to fix that up. Let's move this down and we'll make this taller so it doesn't look so icky. Okay. Anyway, now we need two more images because we're going to make them clickable. I'm going to grab an image and drag it out. And it doesn't have to go exactly where I want it. And I'm going to change the size of these. I found that 30 by 30 is a really good size. We'll line that up to where about I want it. Okay. I'll name this one previous because it's pointing backwards. Okay. And then I'm going to hold my option key, click and drag. And straight across. And I'll make that one next. So they all have something. So if I click on this one's previous, this one's next. Now, the next thing I need to do is give myself, um, put the source in there and I've got a back button. So I'll do that. Those are easy. Any, anybody can make them and we'll go forward button, which will be next. All right. Ready to go. Label. Put your first caption you want. Like I said, I'm going to make this simple, so I'm just going to call it step one is my label. And take a quick look. There you go. You can see you got arrows on both sides and step one. You can change the CSS of that using the CSS um, component. I have a tutorial on that. And I'll leave a link in the description. Anyway, so let's do this. So First we have to save it, and we're going to save this as um, slide show one. 
you know, clever with the names, right? And I'm going to put mine in the, um, my practice slideshows. I've been practicing because I practice all the time. And I'll just create a new folder, new slides. Okay. It's a bad folder name, but what the hell. And save. All right. The next thing I'm going to do, and this isn't going to seem to make any sense, but trust me, it will. So here's a trick, and it doesn't make sense, but after you publish this, you get these folders. You need to go to the folder that you have with your um, different images in it, and I, I have mine here, and copy the ones that... And I'm just going to copy mine. You can drag them in however you want to do it. I'm just doing it this way. Copy them into the image folder. Into your slideshow image folder. So we have the um, new slides and images. And we'll just paste those in here. Now, once you do that, those are available to call. Okay. So now all we have to do is create the... Um, coding that goes with it. So open up the action panels if you can't find it, Windows Actions. I have my snippets docked over here so I can use them. And we'll set up, first we're going to set up a few variables. So the first variable, which is VAR, image count. Okay, this is a super important to have, equals one, semicolon. Another variable, VAR, and then we're going to do total images. Now, I'm using five. You just put in whatever you're going to use. That's important so that the carousel will work. Then the next thing we have to do, before I add that var, I'm going to go here, click on the label. I didn't give it an instance name, and I'm just going to call this captions. Captions. I need that because I'm going to make a variable, V-A-R, and I'll captions with a capital P equals... And then I'm going to put a square, open square bracket and a closed square bracket because this is going to be an array. So the first one is actually step one, comma, and this needs to be in quotes like this. Absolutely has to be in quotes because it's a string. All string is is, is just little words. And then step two. Again, I should have put them in, I got to put them in quotes and a comma afterwards. Now I'm lazy, so I'm just going to copy this, including comma. And I'm going to paste it. I got two. I don't need that one. Make this step three. And then step four. And then step five. That's just because I didn't want to type it. And it's incredibly lazy. Semicolon. Okay. So now we've got our variable set up. Next thing we have to do is write a function. A function is nothing more than uh, a, a set of steps. So function, the word function, and then space. And we're going to give this function name of change, change it. And we're going to open a parenthesis and in here we're going to pass it a parameter and we're going to call the parameter image dir direct so image direction clever as i am open curly brace hit a return that gives you a closed curly brace saves you a little time doesn't give you an opportunity to screw it up so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to image count which is the variable up here and we're going to have the image count equal image count which you can just copy it. See, that makes it easy. Go with the easy stuff. Image count and plus. We're going to use this parameter right here. So we might as well copy and paste that so we don't screw it up. Paste. So every time we cycle through that, it's going to do that, count that image count. Okay, that's the first part. Now we're going to give an if statement. If, open parentheses, if what? Uh, close um, close parentheses, curly brace, hit a return. 
So what I want to do here is if, and this has to equal true. So if the image count, if the image count is greater than the total images, which is our other uh, variable, if it's greater than the to that, we have to do something. So what are we going to do? We're going to say if that's true, the image count equals one. So if you're going through your your slides and it hits the fifth slide, instead of doing nothing, it's going to go back to one. Right? Makes sense. Okay. Then I'm going to go uh, and I'm going to create another if statement. If the image count, told you the image count was important, is less than one. If that's true, curly brace, hit a return. The image count equals total images. Okay. Semicolon. So all that all that does is if you if you go past one, it just pops over to whatever the last slide is. So that's our function. Let's skip a couple lines. And now we need to write some things for the um, for the for the going backwards and forwards thing. So you'll notice that this is layer one. I'm going to go to my timeline, which is hiding back here, and I already have an actions layer, which is fine. I'm going to take these actions and I'm going to I'm just going to drag it straight up, just because it doesn't matter, and. I can leave my layer there. I can delete it. It doesn't matter. I just need a, an actions layer. So I'm going to click my previous, which, and I'm going to go click button event. Boom. It adds right underneath it, and it adds the right name. So all this stuff, you don't need it. Just delete it. It's just a mess. So previous event. So the only thing we have to do is put something right here. So previous. What do we do to go backwards? That's basically all we're saying here is how are we going to go backwards. So we're going to call our function, which is change it. Right? And we need to pass a parameter. If we want to go backwards, we go negative one. Close change it, semicolon. Okay. Now, what do we want to change? Well, we want to change what the image is going to be. So here's where we do our jQuery, dollar sign, open parentheses, open double quotes, pound, close double quotes, close parentheses, dot. And we're going to change the, the attribute, short for A-T-T-A-R, attribute, open parentheses. And then we are going to go open double quotes, close double quotes, comma, open double quotes, close double quotes, close our um, parentheses semicolon. Okay. So what do we put in here? Well, what do we want to affect? What are we trying to change? The big image. Just to check, it's called big image. So we'll go big image. So it's going to affect that. When we write this, it's if you look down here, the source, the source in, in is SRC. You know, it's your basic HTML and then image images slash because this is the folder it's kept in and it's going to be now here's the tricky part remember I told you to name everything photo underscore and then a number well we're gonna close our quotes here we're gonna put a plus sign and in here we're gonna put the image count because the number will be the same as the image out put another plus sign open the double quotes again, dot JPEG. Now, if it isn't JPEG, mine's JP. It can be JPG or JPG. -E, depends on what yours is. Okay. That's the, that's it. All right. So now we'll do this one. Next, same thing. Button event. And we can click right here. Same thing, only it's called next. Now here's the trick. If you want to save yourself a shit ton of time, just copy that. And paste it. And instead of minus one, we just make it one. And we can save it. 
and let's test it. Okay. Well, there you go. New picture, new picture, new picture, and then back to one. If I go backwards, okay, so our buttons work. We haven't done anything with our captions yet, so let's pop over here and let's do the captions. Now, the captions, what we're going to call is the at the end of custom code, which is right here, end of custom code. Just do this. We're going to add something new. And what we're going to add is going to be dollar sign, open double quotes, pound, close double quotes, close parentheses, dot, T-E-X-T, -E because this is text, right? Open parentheses. Now what we need is that variable that we have, which is up here, captions. So copy that. And we'll paste that right there. And of course we have to do it, it's it's a variable, so you don't put it in quotes, okay? Captions, then square bracket, image count, minus one. And I didn't even come close to count. Image count, minus one. Close the square bracket and a semicolon. Oh, got to close the uh, parentheses, then a semicolon. Now, what are we trying to get to? Well, that's easy. Just click here, and it's captions with the small c. Captions, small c. So that'll do that. Now, what we can do is we're just going to copy that line, and we're going to go up here. I'm going to paste it in here. Same thing. We're not going to change anything. So now we'll go Command Return, and Notice the changes, picture changes, caption changes. And if we go backwards, it does the same thing. And that's it. That's how you do it.